be all very well if it were someone else up there. Jesus would sort them out. Even if they were already dead, he'd have them up and out in time for dinner, no matter how long the worms had been at them. But who can do the same for him? He ordered my brother out of the tomb, but he won't order his own executioners to stop. He'll command the wind and the waves, but not his killers. I assume he has a plan. Nothing ever fazed him. And if he still had it in him to talk, he might explain. Although he's always had a love of mystery. I can't bear seeing his pain. I know where he's going eventually, where he taught us we're all going. But being confident of the resurrection, life and glory is one thing, and leaving us here without it is quite another. I'm so angry. He told me off for getting at Mary about helping out with the serving. He said she'd chosen that which would not be taken away from her. Well, he is being taken away. I was right to keep working because life just carries on, even though it doesn't seem right that it should. I can still see him walking towards me when I ran to meet him at Lazarus's wake. Death never fazed him. It can't worry the Messiah, can it? He wept for his friend. Then he raised him. Simple, easy. Is this his easy option? Heading for the final trumpet as a man without sin, waiting to greet us in glory when the time comes. But would he leave us behind to fight the rest of the battle ourselves? There must be something I'm missing. So much I don't understand. How can I reconcile who he is with how he looks now, hanging like meat from a hook? Who is he, with life dripping from his body? Should the Messiah look like this? How will he accomplish all the work he promised? What will become of his followers? How will we remember his teaching? And how will I pray without his friendship?